Assalamu alaikum. I don't, I don't know what possessed me to do this. It is 11 a.m. on a Friday. I am in Toronto. It is very cold. Uh, let's see what the temperature is right now. It is, oh, it's not that cold, it's one degree. I don't know, man, something just came over me and, and now here I am recording my face, talking. And that just feels so like weird, but so nice. I've always had this thing where I wanna start vlogging again. Cause can, can you imagine, I used to vlog, I started vlogging in 2015 and I did it for about over a year actually. Oh wait, I did it from 2015 to 2018. So that's like three years. And now it's 2024, mashallah. And I want to start vlogging again, I think. A lot of this came from uh, just life just goes by so quickly and you know, you blink and you miss it. And Alhamdulillah, like, life is pretty good nowadays but i feel like i'm not getting a chance to enjoy life and so with that i decided that i want to i want to make videos again to to remember it but i don't want to overcomplicate it like i don't want to do those casey neistat type vlogs i used to do or make like random videos just for the hell of it unless i want to i don't want to feel like I am obligated to do it. So I think I want to start vlogging again, but it's just going to be this. Like, it's just going to be my iPhone on my face, just talking. And like, if I'm doing something, then I'll film it. Like today I'm going for Jumma, so I'll take you guys with me. You guys, oh my God. There'll be like two people watching this, one of which will be me. So hello to the other person watching this. I just want to keep it real. You know, I just, I don't care if, lots and lots of people watch this because sometimes i look back at my old vlogs you know every like couple of years i have a look and i'm like man i forgot that happened i forgot that happened oh, i missed this person let me message them like it's really it's really fun to look back at uh, old stuff i'm currently at a place where i think i can take some time to actually do it to actually like record and honestly like i'm i feel like i'm doing some cool stuff so maybe i can share that with you as well you know work wise uh business wise like alhamdulillah life is going pretty decent and i'm actually going to be moving from toronto to vancouver in like a month and then that's ramzan so that'll be fun and eid alhamdulillah that'll be fun and then summer and alhamdulillah that'll be fun inshallah inshallah so um yeah let's start let's start the vlogs again oh my god i've been talking for so long i'm so sorry this is just what it's going to be it's going to be me talking and reflecting because i've tried the whole uh journaling thing and i've tried like i've tried various like reflection things and they just don't do it for me man like i, I prefer to just talk you know maybe a podcast would be good but maybe i can do that once i'm in uh, vancouver but for now we're gonna be vlogging i hope <laughs> all right let's go okay i'm not going anywhere right now i'm still working but in like 45 minutes i'll go to the masjid inshallah i picked a pretty good day to start vlogging because the sun's actually out for once Oh, mashallah. Uh, here's my disgusting pool. It's gross. Okay, I just uh, got changed. I'm about to head out. Besides the disgusting pool, there's a few other unpleasant things about living here, but maybe I'll tell you about them later. I'm leaving soon anyway, like moving from here soon, so. <sighs> maybe I can warn some people. Alhamdulillah, like it's not, it's not horrible. Like, I'm blessed. But uh, there are small inconveniences that turn into big inconveniences sometimes. But that's neither here nor there. Now, the real question is, do I turn the heater off or leave it? No, turn it off. I turn it off because when I come home after, like, doing my walk and in my thick jacket, um, it will be, I will feel warm. So I might as well turn them off. Save electricity as well. Put on some shoes. Slide both on. And gotta grab a 
jacket. Well, I have a lot of different colors. <laughs> I need this one right now because it's kind of cold. Honestly, though, this feels so strange. I hope I get used to it. I don't know if it's going to get better at any point. I doubt it because I'm not trying to do anything like fancy or fun. Nothing extra, but I will try and like just document my life again before I go on another rant for the same reasons I mentioned earlier. So uh, let's go for Juma. So cute. It can be so easy to underestimate how cold it is because you look outside and the sun's out and you're like, oh, it's not too bad. And uh, then you walk in it and you realize, oh no, it's actually extremely cold. And, and I'm so grateful for this thick jacket. <laughs> also, one thing you don't realize, the difference between walking in the shade and walking in the sun is so big. Like, it's too cold now. It's just too cold in the shade. Um, at least when you're walking in the sun, there's a bit of uh, warmth coming. Honestly, incredible the difference it makes. So Nahari sounds fire right now. <sighs> so now that I'm moving to Vancouver, I just had a thought. Like right now, I live in Toronto, or technically Mississauga. The masjid I have is 20 minutes away. Wherever I move to, I need to find a masjid. I need the masjid. I kind of feel like I have to talk way more than I do. But also there's just, you know when you live alone, you talk to yourself a lot, or at least I do. So I often have a lot to say as well to myself, but that's besides the point. What I was going to say is I really do miss having a car. Inshallah, when I move, I'll look at if it's possible to buy a car. Living in Mississauga without a car sucks. When I lived in Toronto, there's a whole story to that why. I don't live in Toronto, Toronto right now. It was much easier. There was a train that went right down the middle of the whole city. And I lived on the train line. Super convenient. Here, not so much. There it is. Behind the yellow bus. I like coming early. I'm about 40 minutes early right now. I like coming early when possible. It's not always. I can read some Quran. I can kind of chill out I can find space uh, to sit comfortably it's a vibe and also I know it doesn't look like a masjid but that's just Canada it looks very different to you know the UAE or Pakistan but a masjid's a masjid isn't it and this masjid is actually really cool it's got a halal food bank attached so if you're in need you can come here And the signals and the signs of the sunrise is already felt. All right, boys and girls. Wow, mashallah, good sky. Uh, post Juma, I need some food. I haven't eaten yet. All right, I got some chicken on rice. How are you wait? Oh man, this looks amazing. Okay, I demolished that. And now I'm gonna go home. Got some more work to do. I don't think I mentioned what I do for work. Maybe I'll do it later. Alhamdulillah, work's going decent. Man, when I move to Vancouver, I think I'm gonna miss. It's a bit windy, but I hope you can still hear me. In Ontario, there's a lot of like halal food options everywhere you go, especially in Mississauga. So when I go to Vancouver, I don't know what I'm going to do because uh, not less halal options and I only eat halal food. So there's a lot of vegan options there though. So in the few times, or actually multiple times I've been there, it's been fine. It's just, there's no good desi food in Mississauga at least. But I actually don't eat out that much, so maybe it doesn't matter. Now that I am home, let's make some chai. Also, I need to put some more water to be filtered because the water here tastes really bad, like really irony. Like it tastes a lot like iron. 
or metal. I think that's just because it's a new building. It had all new piping. I mean, drinking water shouldn't taste like metal. So, yeah. Also, I just want to say I could not have picked a better day to start vlogging. Like, alhamdulillah, look, look how beautiful that is. Last four or five days, gloomy as hell. I've been in a mood because it's gloomy and I love the sun and I miss the sun most of the time. But today I don't have to miss it because it's it's here. It's so crazy. Oh. Oh, the frame frame rate. Okay, wait. Let me find a different solution. I was just about to say, you know what's so crazy? The good thing I turned the heater off, but because with the sun. Okay, I know it looks really stupid what I'm doing, but give me a sec. Let me cook. Yeah, look, that's the temperature that that thermometer is feeling. So with the sun, yeah. It like really like warms up the apartment. Imagine, yeah, it's winter. It's like three degrees outside, but inside my apartment, no heater, no nothing, just the sun and these like extremely giant windows. I'm getting a 23 degree temperature inside. And that's not because I have good insulation. No, it's terrible. The insulation sucks, okay? I had the same kind of situation in the summer. And in the summer, they didn't even have AC installed. Um, this is one of the reasons I'm leaving, by the way. They didn't have AC installed. So inside the apartment was like 35 degrees during the day. Because it was sunny, obviously. And like, if you went outside, it was lovely with the breeze and all. But inside, it sucked. And I couldn't open the windows because of all the construction. It got super dusty. I have asthma. So that was bad. But it's okay. I'm leaving. Also, check Oh, the brown sugar. What the hell is that color? But yeah, it's so weird that like, I've had so many strange problems in this apartment. And this is meant to be like a luxury, like condo. And so like, you wouldn't expect a lot of the issues you get. It's not that I'm like, I, re I really don't want this to sound like I was being ungrateful. Like, Alhamdulillah, man, I have so much. God has blessed me. Um... So it's, it's really not that, it's, it's that like for the amount being paid, you just weren't getting the value. Another random thing that I just didn't know until I moved in and had already signed the lease was that the balcony is not complete. Give you an idea, this entire strip balcony goes all the way down. It's meant to look like this, like tiled. And it just, it was just wasn't complete. So my lease says I'm paying for like, you know, 1100 square feet. But in reality, I didn't have access to this. This was only done in the last month. Like before this, like nice white cement situation, it was all like kacha cement, like, like, what's the word for kacha? I don't remember, but you couldn't stand on it. Basically it wasn't safe. I should talk complaining. Maybe in another block. All right, the, oh. I was gonna say, did that fix the color? But, now I have no chai left. Okay, so I know, my whole, my whole cup of chai ended up being empty because it's all here. But like, the color was solid though, right? <laughs> all right, take two, a bit more successful. Uh, how's the color? Any good? Slaps. And it's done. Now I've got to put this away. Time escaped me. I didn't realize that uh, I came home and Asr happened. And that was like two and a half hours ago. So I need to pray Asr because now Maghrib will come, inshallah, in like 30 minutes. Although the sun's pretty much gone. Wait, let me show you. Mashallah. Uh, beautiful. What? It's so dirty. It's because of all the snow and stuff, man. You'd never be able to tell there was a whole snowstorm here, like, last week. Unless you look at the pool, which is a giant block of ice, which has been melting recently. Look at that, melting. It's, it's kind of gross. But yeah, man. Subhanallah. It's pretty cool. Anyway, my nighttime routine is turning on those lights. And there's no lights in the ceiling. I mean, there's there's a few there, but other than those three, there's 
typically not lights in the ceiling in Canada. This is like a North American thing. Like in, in shared areas, there'll be lights. Like here in this hallway, I got a light. But then like in bedrooms, there's no lights. It's, it's really strange. This is my little uh, namaz corner. So I need to pray. And I'll just uh, turn my lamp on. Give me some shade, some light. Why did I say shade? Lamp shade. Oh, uh, man, <laughs> my hair is a mess. I realized something just now. Uh, when I'm at home and my parents are around, uh, my mom especially, she'll look at me and say, Oi bandar, bal kaat. When I'm in, when I'm in Toronto alone, no one's here to insult me. So I, I forget to like do these things. I have a meeting in a few days near where my uh, old barber is. Um, so actually that works out perfectly because I'll just go see him after my meeting. Okay, now it's my grip time. Let's go pray. Normally, this happens like a few times a week and it stops after like 10 minutes. Right now it's been going on for 20 minutes. And my friend who I was talking to said, go down. So I'm going down. And inshallah, when I come back, my house is still here. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> five. Oh my God, five trucks, cool. They seem to be leaving, so I guess it's okay. Yeah, sorry, yeah, whatever it was. But when I'm out here, let me go to the shop to grab a few things. All right, uh, I eventually got back in. Apparently, uh, this was a real fire this time. And uh, yeah, someone on the 20th floor had accidentally started a fire. <laughs> so, alhamdulillah, I think no one got hurt. And uh, inshallah, everything will be fine. Uh, I just prayed. Um, Isha. And now I think I'm just going to take it easy. It's about it's about 10 p.m. Uh, I'm very tired. i got to wake up for Fajr as well, inshallah. So that's why I'm going to wrap it up. I don't really know what to say. Uh, I used to have a thing of like, remember to keep smiling or something. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Alhamdulillah, I think we've grown a little past that. Inshallah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Allah Hafiz.